Boing Boing readers, my name's Caitlin Scully and I'm talking to you from the ocean drilling vessel, the Joides Resolution. Right now I'm talking to you from near the rig floor, which is where we're drilling down into the seafloor of the North Atlantic to learn more about Earth's climate history. Why don't you take a look at all the cool stuff we're doing on board our two-month expedition. This is a real deep water drill ship, so we have a lot of heavy tools and high weights that we operate with. The derrick is 193 feet off the water line and it's just rated for 1.2 million pounds. Aft of there you'll see the big long skate area, that's where our pipe racker is. This ship is quite different than most modern drill ships in that we have a horizontal pipe racker. Most new ships have vertical rackers for all of their pipe. One of the reasons we do it this way is it's very efficient and very fast. We can trip pipe nominally 25 stands per hour. Once we get down to the sea floor, we rotate the top drive into the center and hang it off of the bales. That's what this yellow piece of equipment here is. The iron roughneck comes out on these tracks and is used to screw the joints of pipe or the drill collars together. It's very important that our connections are made up to exactly the right makeup torque. If they're not made up to the right torque, that connection can start to flex. It leads to a crack and ultimately a failure in the connection and you lose a large portion of your drill string. And because our drill strings are typically one and a half million dollars a piece, we don't like to lose drill pipe very. We do everything we can to avoid that. When you're operating with this much weight, you have to be able to stop it. It's one thing to be able to lift it, but when you've got 700,000 pounds being lowered down toward the rig floor, you better be able to stop it when you get to the bottom or it's a, a pretty bad train wreck. So we have multiple braking systems to be sure that no matter what happens, the driller can stop everything when it gets to the rig floor. Before we start drilling, we have to have what's called the bottom hole assembly. That is the drill collars and the outer core barrel equipment and the bit, everything that's used on the end of the drill pipe that actually cuts the core and allows us to land our core barrels and recover the cores with our wireline coring system. The bottom hole assembly usually consists of your bit. This is the weight of your drill string. All your weight is associated with your bottom hole assembly. It's like a pendulum, a string with a, a heavy nut on it. As long as you don't put any more weight than the BHA weighs, it's only going to go straight. Gravity does all the work. We cannot, like any normal drilling rig anchor, because you couldn't carry sufficient anchor chain to do that, so we, we, we use dynamic positioning. Without dynamic positioning, we can't re retrieve core. It's just impossible. And the other beauty of dynamic positioning, as you'll have seen, is that it's very quick to move site. We can move from one area to another and set up and be drilling them within a matter of hours. Uh, my name is Charlie Wynn. I'm second engineer on board the Geordie's Resolution. Uh, my job entails keeping the electrical and engine plant running at all times to produce power for not only for the accommodation but for the drilling package and propulsion. We have to keep an eye on all the engines, temperatures. We also generate all the water for the ship. The ship uses approximately 40 to 50 ton a day. All the systems uh, are monitored and have alarms on them for pressures and temperatures. So they can't all be controlled from here, but we can find out if there's a problem before it happens so that we can go to the pump and sort, sort it out. While we're cruising, we're burning uh, 38 metric tons a day, which is 12,000 US gallons which is divided through tanks throughout the ship. Just have it written down along the side. Just for a reference with regards to the currents that we'd be uh, working with as we were steaming to this site, you see my last position there at 0800. And uh, we're just coming along towards our first location and then operation starts, yes. I'm here on the bridge of the Joides Resolution, the most important place on the entire ship. I hope in this video you guys got a better idea of how many people it takes, but also how many jobs there are on the Joides Resolution. It's really awesome. If you want to learn more about all the things we've been doing, check out our videos on the Ocean Leadership YouTube page.